With its latest redesign, the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid adopts a bold new design that retains none of the soft lines of the previous generation model. Its linear, boxy exterior wraps around a more modern cabin that seems to draw inspiration from luxury SUVs such as the Land Rover Discovery. Three rows of seats provide room for up to seven riders, but second-row captain's chairs drop the seating capacity to six. Under the hood is a hybrid powertrain that consists of a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine and an electric motor. All models come with a six-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. When the Santa Fe Hybrid goes on sale in spring 2024, it will face off with other mid-size hybrid SUVs, such as the Jeep Grand Cherokee 4XE, the Kia Sorento Hybrid, the Mazda CX-90 PHEV, and the Toyota Highlander Hybrid. Influence for the Santa Fe Hybrid's interior is clearly coming from Land Rover, with an upscale design with modern tech integrated throughout. The Santa Fe Hybrid offers three rows of seats, with optional captain's chairs for the second row, though second row seats can also be had with a power reclining feature. Hyundai has used eco-friendly materials throughout the Santa Fe Hybrid's cabin, including sustainable leather upholstery that's been carefully processed to reduce its impact on the environment. The third row of seats isn't as accommodating as the larger Hyundai Palisades, but kids, teens, and small adults should find it comfortable enough. A 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster shares a curved panel with the touchscreen infotainment system on the Santa Fe Hybrid's dashboard. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard on every model. A separate 6.6-inch touchscreen provides access to the climate controls. Two wireless smartphone charging pads and various USB-C ports dot the interior, and Hyundai has even integrated an available UVC sterilization tray to help kill germs on passengers' phones, wallets, and other smaller items. <music> All Santa Fe hybrids are powered by a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder, which is assisted by an electric motor for a combined 232 or power. That's a little more powerful than the 226-horsepower setup that was offered in the previous generation model. When we tested that version back in 2021, it sauntered to 60 miles per hour in a decent 7.5 seconds. After our initial test drive of the 2024 model in South Korea, we estimate it will hit 60 miles per hour in a similar 7.6 seconds. In the real world, acceleration feels sufficient for the type of casual driving most buyers of three-row crossovers will do. The Santa Fe Hybrid's road manners are similarly subdued, but the ride is comfortable and engine noise is well isolated from the cabin unless you're really hustling. All models come with a six-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive is standard. When we get a chance to drive the 2024 Santa Fe in the U.S., we'll take it to our test track and update this story with more driving impressions and test results. The EPA hasn't released fuel economy estimates for the Santa Fe Hybrid just yet, but given that it runs a similar hybrid powertrain as the previous generation model, we expect to see similar results. The 2023 Santa Fe Hybrid was rated at 36 miles per gallon city and 31 miles per gallon highway. For more information about the Santa Fe Hybrid's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. All Santa Fe models come standard with a host of driver assistance features, but more advanced tech including an adaptive cruise control system with a lane centering feature, are optional. For more information about the Santa Fe's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety.
IIHS, websites. Key safety features include Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection Standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist Available adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature Among midsize SUVs, the Santa Fe Hybrid, and that's its corporate twin, the Kia Sorento, offer the longest standard warranty terms. The Hyundai holds an advantage over the Kia in this area, though, thanks to its generous complimentary scheduled maintenance program. Limited warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. Complimentary maintenance is covered for 3 years or 36,000 miles. 9. Received the Motor Week Driver's Choice, Best Ev, Award for 2024. Last year, the 2023 Kia F6 also received the